Hello everybody and welcome back to Studio Ultra and today I'm going to be reviewing another Dark Knight Batman cowl. Let's do this. So, as you know, the uh, last Batman cowl that I reviewed was the Ruby's Dark Knight Batman cowl. And now I have acquired this amazing, very film accurate looking Dark Knight cowl. I mean, this thing is quite incredible. It's got pretty much every single detail from the film. It is so much more better than the Ruby's one, and it's on Amazon. Now, this one in particular is out of stock, but there's a bunch with the same uh, PVC rubber on Amazon still up there, so you can go ahead and get it if you want to. But man, this is an incredibly film accurate cowl, great mask, and perfect for any Dark Knight cosplay. Now, the only issue I have with it is that there's a bit of thin rubber right here where this ear meets the head but I can easily fix that by spraying rubberized plastic dip spray inside of the mask where the rubber is thin and then I'll have a perfect complete Dark Knight mask. So yes this is far better than the Rubies and let me go ahead and grab the Rubies mask just to show you a comparison. Now to be fair the Rubies one was originally for Batman Begins but this was a Dark Knight re-release anyway, so this one's a Dark Knight release one. They did, Ruby's did in fact re-release their Dark Knight cowl. It looks so much better. It has the neck piece. This one doesn't have the neck piece, it's just the top of the cowl. Because they're really supposed to be two separate pieces. But from the pictures that I was sent by Jeremy Drew, shout out to him. He's the one who's showing me the new Ruby's Collector's Batman cowls. They have really good really improved masks so this is not the beat on Ruby since they have already made a better looking version of the mask that I have now speaking of just their mass produced mask not their collector's edition one this is what it looks like this is their mass produced Dark Knight mask it's very Batman Begins because you know that's what it's supposed to be but even so it doesn't look remotely as good as this one does so they're pretty much at the same price Except for this one looks way more like the Dark Knight and this one, uh, I don't know. This is an incredible looking mask, great PVC rubber, but let's go ahead and put this on. Alright, I got my balaclava and now I'm going to slip the mask over my head. Alright, so this is the new Dark Knight Batman cowl. This is amazing. It looks so good. It fits really well. And with some black eye makeup, can definitely complete the effect. This is the best Batman, affordable Dark Knight Batman mask on the market that I've seen. Just look at this detail. It's all very film accurate and it's finished in this kind of matte, flat black instead of this weird, shiny color. But yes, it is so much more film accurate. It's definitely pretty much <laughs> spot on, perfect replica. Even though the new re-release Dark Knight Collector's cowl looks pretty good, it still does not look as good as this from what I've seen. Because this is just amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and do a full turnaround so that way you can see the full mask all the way through. But yes, it's an incredible looking mask. You can find it on Amazon. And I can see there's a few on eBay. Now, what I've seen, this is the Wolves World sculpt. So, the closest I can associate this one to is the Wolves World cowl. Once again, this is the most film accurate Dark Knight mask that's affordable. It's not your thing. And it's just great to add to any collection. It is really cool. It is very, very accurate. And I love it. Now I've known I've done this to death, but gotta do it. Swear to me! So this is basically how to get the complete looking Christian Bale Batman mask. Cause this is pretty awesome. Just wanted to show you what it looks like without the balaclava. Still looks really cool, but there's of course exposed hair and neck and stuff like that. So. That's why you wear a balaclava. Use that to complete the full cosplay, or if you have that neck piece from the Dark Knight. So yeah, I cannot stress how great this looks, how accurate it looks, 
and just how amazing it feels. It just looks exactly like it. And it is not from a very known company too. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become a villain. I kill those people. That's who I can be. I'm not the hero the city needs, but I'm the one it deserves. I'm Batman. Where are they? Where are the other two going? You can basically just do all that crazy stuff. I hope to use this in like short films or something. I don't know. Maybe just like, uh, you know, Dark Knight in a nutshell. I can do an ultra funny like that. Whatever. You, you can utilize it for cosplay, fun. Just if you want to buy something fun off Amazon, this is the greatest <laughs> Batman mask that I pretty much ever had. Now, I am getting a Ruby's uh, 1989 Batman's Collector's Cowl. Uh, one that was like the Walmart exclusive or whatever. I, there's like very few of them left out at Walmarts. So go and see if you can. I went across like four Walmarts, couldn't find any. So I looked up on Mercari and I got a used Batman lot with that mask in it and a Batarang from 1989, the NECA replica. So yes, that was awesome. And I have to thank Jeremy Drew for showing that to me. He uh, told me about it on one of my reviews, commenting on it, one of my videos. And so yeah, I mean, that was awesome to find out about and I'm really excited to get it when it comes. But yes, if you want a really good Dark Knight mask, you can get the Ruiz Collector's one or you can get this one. I think I suggest this one a bit more just because it still, the Collector's mask is still kind of shiny like this and it doesn't have all the details there. This one, however, does. This one is probably the best looking Dark Knight cowl that is not your thing. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And you will see me in the next video. Goodbye.